so now i have completed top view of this hemisphere and this is the base of the cone and in between there is a axis and we cannot see the trajectory edges or the slant edges of the cone why because those are imaginary and there is no edge on the cone surface that's why i am not drawing then this thing i will project it here and i will draw the front view so take the front view by projection of lines of thickness or thin lines so this is the base of the cone in the front view this is the diameter of hemisphere on the front view some height i will take clear now what is the height of this axis of the cone 50 so take one axis line so this will be the axis line so from center i will draw you can take the projection lines or else by the alignment indicator you can take so from this as a center i will take axis line what is the length 50 is the axis or the cone tip height okay now join this by thick line so take the thick lines so this is the base of the cone and this is the tip of the cone all of you understood so this you can do so base diameter is 60 axis height is 50 mm so this is completed now draw the hemisphere so for this hemisphere in the front view what is the height yes is height is given radius so what is the radius 20 is the radius so that becomes the axis here for the hemisphere now from this tip they have given that it is placed centrally on the tip of the cone okay so from this tip of the cone i will draw one more axis line what is the height 20 mm i'll take 20 mm is the radius enter so this is the center of hemisphere so from this as a center i will draw the front plane that is the circular face yes or no so that circular face is what is horizontal thick line correct so from this line i will draw the front view so this is the hemisphere top plane which is cut portion now what is this bottom what i have to do i have to draw a arc so take command arc there is arc arc by center so this is the option okay so arc by center point i will take so now this as a center i will take radius is 20 already it is taking then draw a arc understood now this is the given problem so now i have completed in front and top views is it clear all of you now this one i have to produce in isometric scale so now again to draw a circle in isometric scale i have to keep it in a box i have to follow the box method so now for that i will draw a box if you draw in a box also or if you don't don't draw the box also what is the dimensions of the box now if i enclose a circle in a box what will be the dimension that will be also same diameter is equal to the square diameter or the dimensions or take the box see here so now on this alignment i will draw one box so what is the length of this box this length is also equal to diameter of the cone base correct so one box is having dimensions of 60 mm one box will be having dimensions of 40 mm it is understood now start with the isometric scale so take one horizontal line and mark the midpoint so take i'll take horizontal line here of thin line okay of 0.05 mm thickness and just place it here just one of you close the door <coughs> now see whenever you are drawing a circle or any polygon 
So just remember to take one corner. Yes or no? So this corner I will take first. Which corner? Corner left side. This bottom corner of left side corner I will take first. So that point, from that point I will start drawing the plane. So anyway I know center. So consider this as a first center. So always don't click at the midpoint. Click on the intersection point. So on the intersection point it is showing now. On that I will click. Getting it? And taking this as the radius. Draw a arc. Any doubts here? So start from this center, which is the intersection point. Take thick line, continuous, to draw the arc. So from here, I will draw the half of the arc. Is that clear? Where the angle is very less. There, the arc radius will be very less. So this arc I will complete up to here, up to this end point. Then again, I know this center, opposite center I know. From this I will draw one arc. Is that clear? Now, remaining arc is what? From here to here and bottom arc. So for this arc, see the bottom arc to draw, I will start from this as a center. So taking the corner where the angle is more, so from that as a center point, I will click it here. And this as the radius I will take. Here. So this as the radius I will take and I will draw the one more arc. Again it will cross through this point. So this completed three fourth of the two third of the circle it is completed. Now remaining is upside. So same procedure from opposite corner I will start. Now I will take this as the radius. I will draw one more arc. So this completes what? The ellipse. Ellipse in the sense when the circle is kept in the 30 degree angle. So here no need to get the center point. <coughs> yes or no? The square box I am not getting the center point. Only by knowing the two corners of the box and getting the center of the two median lines. I can draw the ellipse. Now next, how, how to complete this cone? Now comes, when you draw the axis, you need center point of the plane. Yes or no? Up to this, any doubts is there? So to draw the circle, it is easy. <coughs> yes? So there are four radius. So just I will explain here. So for cone, I need midpoint. So how to get the midpoint? Draw the diagonals. So one diagonal is enough. Yes or no? Why it is enough? Because the box is square. The box is having equal dimensions. If you draw two diagonals also, it is crossing through midpoint. Or if you draw one diagonal, it will be passing through midpoint. So from that I will take the axis. So this line I want thin line. Now from this midpoint of the line, I will take the axis. So this is the axis line from this midpoint. So check the thickness. What is the height? 50 mm. Take all actual dimensions now. Later we can convert it. 50 enter. So now I got the height. Now from this tip I will draw two slant edges. Okay. And whenever you are drawing the cone, don't draw these slant edges directly somewhere on the arc. 
it should be tangent to the earth in solids also the top view of cone or the third stage when you are drawing the cone you draw the line so this line edge line should touch the arc by tangent understood why because i am seeing from some angle clear so that slantage i will not join at the midpoint here why because it is crossing that arc can you observe it will not cross the arc here it will be tangent to the arc just this line so this is the slantage of cone so once again you observe from here to this tangent this is enough okay so now this completed cone in isometric scale now observe after drawing this this arc is visible as yes or no this is in front of observer remaining part of the arc sir after this slantage is is it visible not visible so what i will do is i will trim that or else you select it so this arc you can convert it into thin arc which is invisible or you can delete it no problem but don't delete all construction lines which are required for your procedure now part of this arc is not visible so what i'll do is i'll go for trim so just trim this lines okay now again you can take the arcs you can complete that otherwise you can delete this arc also it's not a problem understood these things are not required see in the isometric scale you can show the hidden lines or you can delete the hidden lines that is optional but don't delete this all construction lines these lines you don't delete these are the required construction lines means how you have drawn that cone to show that i hope this is understood now on this tip of the cone what is kept hemisphere so what is the radius or the axis height 20 so take a thin line of axis type height is 20 enter now i got the radius but from where to where i have to draw the arc i don't know so no so first what i will do is i will draw one circle above the hemisphere yes sir no so what is that uh, diameter of the hemisphere cut portion 40 so again from this as a center you draw one box of what dimension 40 by 40 again so from this as a center i'll draw or else what i will do is i will take one box first of 40 by 40 now this as a reference corner what i will do is i will get the midpoint first so take that midpoint so from here i will draw one diagonal so this is the midpoint or draw one more diagonal it will cross to same midpoint so this as a reference midpoint what i will do is i will draw these lines okay this also you can do see what is this dimensions 60 by 60 okay so directly you can take move command with copy and just copy from midpoint keep it here okay then what is the dimensions 40 by 40 this is 60 now take the ratio now how to take the ratio 60 by 40 you have to take or 40 by 60 you have to take 40 by 60 you have to take yes or no now check if it is reducing it has to reduce or no for the hemisphere it has to reduce 60 by 40 will reduce or 40 by 60 will reduce 40 by 60 will be less 
So take that ratio. Or you go to scale. Okay. Or else you can construct one box there. No problem. By knowing the diagonal distances. That you know. So this is the other procedure. Take scale. Now again click on the center. Okay. So only this profile is selected now. Box. So select the center. Now give the scale. What is the scale? 40 by 60. Enter. Is that clear? Means you remember like this. What you want? I want 40. What we know is 60. By knowing 60, how to get 40? Means 40 by 60. That ratio will take. So that will give the box length. See here, 40. Understanding all of you? So like this I have created a box now. Now again, draw the circle. Then after circle you make a hemisphere. Is that clear? Now, again to draw a circle, what I have to do? See now, top of the hemisphere, can you observe all the edges? So in the hemisphere, all the corners and the all the edges I can observe. The face is visible. So I'll complete all the circle by the thick line. So again, what is the procedure you tell me to make a circle here? Joining the midpoints from the corner where the angle is more. So just I'll join this. Now again from here to this midpoint. Now again from this corner, from here to here. The entire thing also you can copy. But here what I did is, part of the arc I have removed. That's why I'll reconstruct it and I'll complete. Otherwise, before you can copy it, complete circle at the bottom, which is a 60 diameter, that you can keep it at that center by taking the ratio, 40 by 60. Both method you can copy. No problem. It depends on you. If you're fast in computer, you can do this. Or if you're poor, you directly take the bottom, copy it by ratio. So now I'll complete this circle. It is just reputation so that others will understand, those who are not understood. So take arc by center, again from this center. So this is the center, this is the radius, draw one arc of thickness 0.5. Now again from this as a center, now again from this as a center, this will be the radius. So make it continuous line. So now what is completed? The hemisphere top face is completed. Now bottom bowl we have to draw. So I think in this view it will change up to here. 